today is the 25th of September. It's about 8.30 in the morning and it's, you know, I don't know what the temperature is. Probably 80 something, 70 something. Um, we did reach 100 yesterday, so it's still warm here. I wanted to show this Kukuza squash. I, in fact, I want to take down that shade cloth today. That's going to be one of my projects is removing some of the shade cloth. But this is just massive how much there is going on here. And then my noodle beans. In fact, one of my noodle beans is up to... It's almost to the top of the trellis right now. It's right here. So that's pretty cool. Pleased with what's happening. And then I got some zinnias on the back side over there, the red ones that are looking pretty good. It looks a little jungly. I like it. And then I've got some lemongrass in there. I'm still gonna make lemongrass tea. I think that's what I'm gonna try making today. Here's one of the flowers. So I finally got to see a Kakuza flower. I guess I did on the other one. Ooh, looks like I got a leaf that needs to be cut out of there. It looks pretty bad. These look healthy though. This one's not so much. So, I don't know if I should be taking those out or not, probably. My zinnias over here. These vinca look pretty good. Um, something's eaten on my eggplant. Got this hyacinth bean plant going crazy. Oh, there's a, a something I didn't expect. I've got another um, cantaloupe, but it's right in that shade cloth. Dang it, that's gonna cause problems. I'm probably gonna have to do something to protect that from the weight. <laughs> This shade cloth I might leave up for a while, just because I think the peppers might appreciate it. Because they sure look healthier under this shade cloth. But Kinda crazy how much I got going on over here. Some pumpkin plant over there and then you can see my tomato plants are coming back to life which I totally expected they kind of get a new lease on life in September so it's not surprising to me I think you can see there's some quite a bit more green from the tomato plants now. I put the pumpkin vine in this bed. The pumpkin vine is taking over everywhere. And then I'll show this pumpkin's getting pretty big. It's probably, well, it's not the size of a basketball yet, but it's getting there. This Kakuza squash is struggling a little bit. I think the, it's not so bad over in here. 
but I think the pumpkin plant is taken over. You can see the pumpkin way over in here now. There's a pumpkin right there. Look at how big that flower is. That's pretty, pretty good size. I think I have some yeah, I do. I have some eggplants on there I need to probably cut, you know, harvest. So I'll probably be doing that. Anyway, most things still look pretty good. Oh, a bit overgrown, but... And then we have started, oh, I took some seeds off of this comprinia. I'm really happy with that. Huh? But we have started working on our waterfall. We had it set up and then we decided we needed a foundation, a base, a base on it. So we're building a base. And then we bought a couple of uh, rocks that supposedly cover stuff. So we've got those sitting up there. Um, then we have some rocks that are some fake rocks. But yeah, our waterfall is in three pieces. There's the biggest part of it. And then that um, up on top sits a on top of it and then there's a place where the motor goes in that that black thing and it sits behind the waterfall and then we're gonna just buy some we looked at you know real rocks and we both are getting to the age where we don't think we could even lift big rocks up here and there's nobody that's gonna come into our yard to do it to the level that we'd need them to. They'll drop them off um, on a pallet in our front driveway, but they won't, they won't be able to bring them into the backyard here. Um, basically, because we already have so much stuff growing that it's hard to get back in here. So we've decided we're probably going to get the uh, resin rocks and that's kind of expensive i might try making a rock too i don't know i've seen some diys for how to make some big rocks um i just don't know if i want to invest the time in it but um i'm gonna bring some smaller rocks in i have no problem with that that'll be real and hopefully we'll get it to look like a spilling waterfall right there. I'm really pleased so far with what we've done. We've got a, we basically dug up the, and took out some of the dirt that was um, on the slope. And then we've got some bricks and stuff like that that we're gonna lay and then that thing is going to sit on it. That thing right there. It's really pretty. It's got some pretty colors to it. It's, it looks green. The mossy green type thing. But even inside of it, it's got rusts and browns and stuff. It's really pretty. So, I'm glad it was in three pieces. I don't think we could have got it up there otherwise. I was amazed at how big our lemon tree has gotten. I think it's almost five feet, maybe a little less. From the other side, it looks like it's a little bit uh, taller than, than it is, but I'm really pleased with that. Got our bougainvillea stretching out in every direction there. 
And I think that's about all I wanted to show in the yard today. Oh, the Cape Honeysuckle's starting to bloom. I'm going to probably give... I didn't noticed when I watered these and put some Epsom salt in the, the water that I started to get some blooms on those. So I might do some more of that. Anyway, it's a quick video. I just wanted to um, show what we've done so far. We put there was a wind spinner that was backed by the waterfall. And we need to get it out of the way. It's down here in this bed, and I'm kind of liking it, so I might leave it here. This wind spinner, but I want to paint it. I have some metallic paints that. It's kind of been rubbed off over time. So I think I might leave it in this bed. I like wind spinners. We get so much wind that it's kind of pretty to see them. And we already have one at the other end of the yard. So it looks kind of like a construction site because it is. But, oh, I didn't even... I am amazed at how tall that oleander has gotten this year. I bet it's doubled in size easily. Maybe, yeah, I bet it's doubled in size. That was one of my smallest oleanders I planted. I think it was like one foot last year. Look at it now. That's awesome. We wanted it for a, a screen, basically a privacy screen. So, yay. I'm happy with that. And, like I say, I need to go through here and get my path done. Um, all that good stuff. We're still going to turn this into like a little um, wheelbarrow garage area. So I still have that to do. But that's where our construction's going on right now or what we're working on the most. And then like I say, all of these bricks here are going to be stepping stones. Um on our dirt lockers and we're going to have dirt lockers all along the bottom tier so hopefully it'll look cool i think it's going to look really awesome when we get it done we've got a good vision and i might put a picture at the end of this that kind of shows our inspiration for our waterfall but anyway that's my garden diary Today, <clears throat> excuse me, today is the 21st of September and I got three um, eggplants and three cucumbers out of the garden 